That one right now is going to be the fifth one in this at-bat. Getting close to that record, as I mentioned earlier. Going back to players that have come out of Chico State and uh, San Francisco State, um, Tommy Harper uh, played at SS State, and from 1962 to 1976, he had 15 seasons in the major leagues, and he hit 146 home runs, 567 RBIs, with a career batting average of 257. Huh, you don't say. Zero zero ball game here. Comes the inbound play. Finds number twenty one at the top of the arc. Good ball movement here by the Penguins. Shifting the momentum around the key, trying to find a lane here. Looks like number three's got one. Kicks it back out to twenty four for three. Misses it. Put put back up by number twenty four. Ezra Talbert gets the bucket two zero. Sea Wolves bringing the ball up the court now. Getting a play going here. Rotating around the top of the key. Trying to find a lane here. Goes baseline and gets a charging foul against the Seawolves. Dominican ball Offensive going foul the other way. Isaac Davidson. We would like to take some. We were going to read the questions <laughs> that we have for them. All right, so I have a first question. It's going to be for all three of you guys. Um, feel free, whoever just feels more organic to answer it. What steps did you take um, to get where you are today? Um, I can start. So in my uh, early 20s, I built a website for the company I was running that was doing inline skate and skateboard accessories. And uh, a lot of, at the time, I was doing a lot of trade shows for the industry. And a lot of different companies in the industry saw what I built and wanted me to help them build theirs or build theirs. So I ended up building websites for Rollerblade, Rosies, and a number of other skateboard inline skate companies. And then I just decided I like doing that a whole lot better than what I was doing. So I taught myself how to code. I started a web consulting firm. And then I eventually started working at a startup called NetSchools. And I was lucky enough to get a really good mentor that taught me a lot of things about the industry and how to work in the industry. And I spent probably two years reading every book I could find to teach myself how to work in the industry. And then I was really lucky after that. And I've worked at five different startups, and I've been through three successful acquisitions. and welcome to season six of Under SF Curiosity. My name is Becca McHenry. I'm a broadcast and electronic communications arts major, or Becca major, <laughs> with a minor in drama. I enjoy public speaking and acting, and I'm so excited for this season because we are going to dive into some really awesome subjects. And I'm Sam Chua. I'm also a Becca major with an emphasis in broadcast journalism. A little bit about me, I'm from Malaysia and I speak three languages. Coming from another country, I'm excited to get an in-depth look at what the Bay Area has to offer. Earlier, our organization in focus today is the COCO Coalition. We are thrilled to have another lead here in studio with us. Mimo Haile is the co-founder of Black and Beautiful Women's Brunch. We are so happy to have her joining us today. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So let's get started by um, talking about how did you get involved in COCO Coalition? Sure. So COCO Coalition started in actually this year, um, and we founded it based on the Black and Beautiful Women's branch that we've had for many years wow. and that's how I'm involved. <laughs> that's great. Good morning my name is Mark Bradley and welcome to Sports Talk. 
Today, we start with the Lakers and Warriors game, which was a thriller to say the least. The Warriors, who was without Klay Thompson and Stephen Curry, managed to play well without them with the help of Kevin Durant's 28 points that gave the Warriors the victory over the Lakers 117 to 106. Isaiah Thomas made his starting debut for the Lakers in a losing effort, but scored 20 points and had seven assists. Hello and welcome to Talking With Mark. Today, I have a very special guest with me. I have Sydney Gartmoff. She's a student here at San Francisco State and I'm just going to talk to and get to know her a little more. So hi, how are you doing today, Sydney? Hi, Mark. I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. So my first question is, um, what drew you to come to San Francisco State coming out of high school? Um, distance from home. I live pretty close, like maybe four miles north. Um, I like San Francisco's uh, values. Um, it's the top fifth school in the state for journalism. Okay. So, yeah. That's real good. Hello, and welcome to the second game of the Tip-Off Classic here at San Francisco State. My name is Mark Bradley. Hey, I'm Jared Amiel. And here we go. We just get ready to start. Let's just get right into it, huh? Waste no time. And we tip off control by San Francisco State. Chief Obaja takes it out, swings it over to number 36, swings it over to number one. Watch Chief Obaja there. Yes. Oh, and it travels first to get Chief number two there. Hit a, hit a nice three, a nice open three, took his time. Calm, cool, collected. Yeah. He's a senior. Maybe that's uh, the senior presence coming definitely. out right there. It definitely showing, like, definitely showing he's been in this situation many of the times, been in many games being a senior here at San Francisco State and really showing it on the floor, which is an advantage for San Francisco State. And many of these seniors and juniors who's been in this situation has really showed up this game. 